10 Things You Didn't Know About the Spanish Water Dog The Spanish Water Dog is a medium-sized dog breed that originates from Andalusia and Spain. This breed has a long and interesting history and is now becoming an increasingly popular companion dog because of its fantastic personality traits. Despite its increasing popularity, there are probably many things that you do not know about this breed. Here are 10 interesting facts about the Spanish Water Dog. 1. Its origins date back thousands of years. The exact origins of the Spanish water dog are not known and there are many theories relating to this breed's history. However, it is thought that water dogs have been around since ancient times and originate from the wetlands of the Iberian Peninsula. The Spanish water dog shares its ancestry with the Irish water spaniel, the French barbet, and the Portuguese water dog. 2. The breed was revived in the 1970s. Santiago Montesinos and Antonio Garcia Perez were fans of the Spanish water dog and wanted to revive the breed. In 1975, they traveled around Spain finding the best examples they could to begin a breeding program. By 1980, they had formed the Spanish Water Dog Club in Spain to promote this breed. The pair worked hard to get the breed recognized and, finally, it was accepted by the Spanish Kennel Club in 1985. It was then provisionally recognized by the FCI before gaining official recognition from the registering body in 1999. 3. It has only been recognized as a breed in the United States relatively recently. Despite the fact that this breed has a long history, they have only relatively recently been recognized as a breed in the United States. After a lot of effort from the Spanish Water Dog Club, the breed was finally recognized by the American Kennel Club in 2005. Since 2015, the Spanish Water Dog has been categorized in the miscellaneous group. This breed was also recognized in 2007 by the American Herding Breed Association. 4. They were originally hunting dogs. The original purpose of Spanish water dogs was as hunting dogs. They were ideal for this role as they have an excellent sense of smell. Although there are still some dogs of this breed that are in working roles, they are now most commonly kept as companion dogs. 5. It is known by many other names. This breed is most commonly known as the Spanish water dog, which is sometimes abbreviated to SWD. However, it is also known by many other names. Some of these include Perro de Agua Español, Churro, Perro Turco, Puro Rizado, Barbada, and Lanado. 6. There are some health conditions associated with this breed. Like most dogs, there are some health conditions that are associated with this breed. The most common health conditions include eye problems, hip dysplasia, hypothyroidism, Addison's disease, allergies, exocrine pancreatic insufficiency, and neuroaxonal dystrophy. 7. It is available in several color variations. There are several color variations of the Spanish water dog available. The solid color varieties include black, tan, brown or beige. It is also possible to get by colored dogs of this breed where the second color is white. If neither color is white or the dog is tricolor, it is considered a serious fault to the breed. 8. You should not brush a Spanish water dog. Many people would assume that this breed of dog required a lot of grooming due to its thick coat. However, because of the structure of their coat, you should never brush a Spanish water dog. Instead, you need to check the cords of their coat regularly and separate them to prevent matting. If the coat does become matted, then that area may need shearing. 9. They need lots of activity. The Spanish water dog is a breed that needs a lot of exercise and activity. This means they are not ideal for apartment living. They like to take long walks and have room to run around. Playfulness is part of their nature and they can sometimes become boisterous. 10. They are sometimes shy. Although Spanish water dog is likely to be playful and boisterous at home, they are often very timid around strangers. To overcome this aspect of this breed's personality, they need socialization from a young age so they can adapt to different social settings and become a well-rounded dog. If you like the video then make sure to hit that like button. Also if you want more dog training, guides, information then make sure to subscribe to our channel. Let me know what you think of this video in the comments and thank you for watching.